Hey everyone, welcome back to another Quebec Quickie. It is so good to have you here. This episode is brought to you by DotWalk.io. I love DotWalk.io because it eliminates the hardest part of using ServiceNow's ATF framework, building the actual test cases. Let DotWalk's Bootstrap app populate all of your ATF use cases automatically. And by Aldus International, a staffing company specializing in AI and ServiceNow. I love all this because they're community first approach and they're contributing so much to our space in such a short amount of time with their two AI podcasts. Check out the description below for how to contact these sponsors. This episode is all about the new road mapping functionality. Roadmaps can be constructed out of any record you'd find in the roadmap preferences. The preference record determines the table and the start and name and owner field for that table. It also allows you to select which fields you can group, color, or have metrics displayed for. By default, it comes with demand, project, or any team spaces you've created, but you can easily define your own records here. When you create a roadmap, you give it a name, start and end, a source table, and conditions. In this case, I did a one-year outlook on all active demands that are in the working states. Here is the roadmap visualized, and I love all the nuance and power that personalize can bring. So I'm gonna click this personalize icon, and I'm gonna colorize all the demands by their portfolio. Then I'm gonna group it first by demand manager, and then by investment class. You can have up to two groupings on your roadmap. It took me a bit to figure out, but the color legend is right here. Now let's put some more information on the bars on the roadmap. First of all, I'm going to turn on the Show Demand Manager button. Then we're going to add the total plan cost and the ROI. And just for kicks, the capital budget. This gives each card on the roadmap a little more nuance and uh, flavor. But wait, there's more. Click on any of the records on the roadmap and an item details panel pops up. This will give you more detail on the record selected. You can also go to the unscheduled items. These are items that meet the condition of your roadmap but don't have a start or end date. And you can click and drag them onto your roadmap. If you grab the sides, you can even change their estimated duration. You can even add new items directly to the roadmap. Just fill in the name and its estimated start or due date. There are some other neat features about the roadmap itself. You can add attachments to the roadmap for consumption by anyone who can view it and you have a little conversation stream that all participants can annotate. Overall, road mapping is a red hot welcome addition to the ITBM suite and is off to a great start. I kind of wish it was easier to set up. It goes by a strange plugin name of Alignment Workbench, even though Docs refers to it as Roadmap. I also struggle with the fact that you can only do one task type at a time. And at times I wish there were easier ways to engage and edit the record data. But that said, it's still a spectacular way to visualize the ongoing large scale work in your organization. Kudos to whoever is responsible for this feature. Give that person a cookie. I remain yours truly, the Duke.